And, um, you know, if the audience, you know, audience would provide a lot of energy, we played all kinds of stuff, great dancers, played a lot of stuff in 11-8 time, 13-8 time, every other um, crazy time signature, we would do very odd cuts from singing chorus a la, you know, Russian, the Russian army chorus style, going into a reggae, going into um, freeform jazz, going into waltzes, but still something was missing, like a visual component. And so we thought, well, maybe we should project slides of avant-garde art above the, you know, above the band as we played, you know, something to give a context to what we were playing. And um, as it happened, someone caught, our, caught one of our shows and said, why don't you take outtakes from 50s sitcoms? <laughs> I thought, wow, that's a great idea. And then later on that night, I was uh, watching Saturday Night Live, and Lily Tomlin was on the show, and she was giving the Dow Jones averages of art trends. And so she said, pop art, up 12. <laughs> Pop art, up 23. Expressionism, down 26. <laughs> and I turned the channel, and uh, Channel 9 was showing the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. And this film had the sets and the mood of what I was trying to express in music at that time. And so we went ahead, we scored the film, and presented it at the 1987 Mill Valley Film Festival. And it totally changed our, the way we performed. Um, we went on, we did Nosferatu, Metropolis, Sherlock Jr., Pandora's Box, Hands of Orlock. We worked with a Gamelan, uh, Gamelan Sekarjaya with uh, La Vong Dance of the Virgins, more and more films. When I was composing this, though, I had this, I was living uh, in a house up in Sebastopol, California, that was reputed to be haunted. Um, and um, I was composing the part of the, the movie that when Francis finds out that his friend has been murdered, and you'll hear it as kind of a slow 12-8 blues. And I was, the sun was setting, a big wind came up, and just as I got up to close the door, I did feel an icy hand on my shoulder. And I've never felt anything like that. I don't know if it was the music I was writing or if the place was truly haunted. But I do think some of that is in this music. Thank you. Caligari. 